Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Based on my latest poll, it seems that Negus Banda will be the next brand to review in my B.O.B. 123 series. Hoping to wash my hair tomorrow? We'll see. But while we wait on that, I figure I put out another ingredients review because it's been way too long and because we all need to remember why I'm here. To test black owned hair brands, yes, but more specifically to test only safe black owned hair products. Deemed safe based on a set of responsible and not potentially poisonous or otherwise hazardous ingredients. Everything else can just go in the trash if you ask me. And let's pretend you did because this is my channel. I started my B.O.B. 123 series in September of 2020, I believe. Yeah, 2020. And in this series, I test black owned brands only. Over three wash days, I do three different styles and I offer three company and or founder facts per video. Before kicking off each brand, I used to, and I plan to again, do a quick, quick ingredients review, highlighting a very small sampling of the ingredients you'll find throughout the product line. I do try to only cover ingredients I haven't yet covered in previous videos, but over time, and definitely with this brand specifically, that will start to get more and more difficult as I'm seeing more and more repeats. I have been an affiliate with Negus Banda for probably about a year now, and maybe like a year and a half, and I have yet to try their products, which is pretty ugly. But in my defense, they've never sent me any products. So anyway, I did get them during Black Friday and I'm excited to do this review and even more excited to watch my now two week old dry braid out. And I do hope I like the products because my hair does need a little bit of TLC. I may or may not be an affiliate anymore. <laughs> I think I've referred one sale this whole time, but just in case I am, I have shared my discount code in the description box below for 15% off. And all my coupon codes are listed on my website, uptightcurls.com on the brands and deals page. Before I get started, I do just want to note that this brand used to have the infamous iodopropanol butacarbamate and diazolinyl urea in them, but they have since gotten rid of it. Well, they're infamous to me, maybe not to you, but those two ingredients are the, are the two that kind of started or kick-started this whole ingredients dive that I have been doing for like a year, year and a half now. Anyway, I do respect Negus Bande making that change, and I suspect it was in response to customer demand. So, applause. And applause to those brands, of course, who never used it. Side note, I always find it unfair when people get put on a pedestal for making a change when those who never transgressed in the first place get no recognition. So. Shout out to them and to all the other brands that have great ingredients in them. In this video, I'm gonna introduce six ingredients and six because I have actually covered all of the other unique and more obscure ingredients that they use in previous videos. These are all well-known ingredients or items that you've just heard of, but you may not know their use in hair care. So let's briefly talk about that. First up is ginseng extract. Ginseng works to reverse the aging effects that could lead to weakening of the hair structure and to causing hair loss in addition. Ginseng is also associated with slowing down the deterioration of collagen and increasing the natural production of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a compound found throughout your body that plays a key role in hydration, skin texture, and in elasticity. You'll also find saponins and phytosterols in ginseng and these help contribute to the maintenance of a healthy scalp. Saponins are an antibacterial compound that fight infections and phytosterols supposedly minimize premature graying of the hair, which is good because I actually just found a white hair a couple days ago. So that was, that was interesting and fun. Lastly, ginseng also is seen to increase the time in the growing or the antigen phase of the hair cycle. Number two is rose petal. Rose is antioxidant and antimicrobial. It's also anecdotally seen to reduce dandruff and it's used for scent purposes because people like the smell of roses. Specifically rose water, but I actually really, really don't like rose products. I have only used it on my face, but it dries out my skin like crazy and it gives me acne. I tried it on different occasions with the same result. So I'm pretty sure it was the rose water and I won't be using it again. So it will be interesting to see if a product containing rose water is also a no-go for my hair. I don't know yet, but my face doesn't like it. Number three is vetiver oil. This is an antioxidant and promotes the production of collagen as well. It is also antimicrobial, increases blood circulation, and aids cell regeneration. 
Number four is ginger root. Ginger boosts blood circulation and its anti-inflammatory properties are also beneficial for the scalp. Number five is thyme. And thyme is mostly known for stimulating the scalp, which would aid in hair growth. And number six, sesame oil. This is an emollient. Its high fatty acid content also helps to both soothe and heal the scalp. And it is also antibacterial and antifungal. So it helps to combat dandruff. And I see this in a whole bunch of ingredients that I didn't cover in this video. This does seem to be a very scalp health bent line. So let us see how it works for me. That was my very, very, very short list. And before I sign off, I just wanna show you the products that I will be reviewing. Moist Hydration Shampoo, the Deep Elation Fenugreek and Ginger Hair Mask, the Curling Glaze with Marshmallow Root and Flaxseed. Yes, that is Jamie in the background. I have to wrap this up very quickly. And I am excited about this because my aloe plant is uh, it's growing pretty slowly. So I, I think I've got maybe one use out of it. Um, this is the Chebe pre-shampoo treatment. So I think I'm actually gonna do a review when I try this because I've always reviewed my pre -poo. So let us see, you know, how that goes. Little update before I do actually go. I am still slowly coming back to my channel, but it will definitely be slow. Even with Aiden back in school, Layla and Jamie are taking up pretty much all of my time during the weekend on the weekends. There are three of them and extracurriculars and it's a lot of coordinating with Nick. So I don't know, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be able to wash my hair and even following the next time I get to wash it, when I'm going to wash my hair after that and what that schedule is gonna look like. So I'm hoping that my first review will come out within the next week and a half. So thank you again for all of your patience and especially for those who are new. Uh, you joined at a time when I am not consistent. I used to be just like clockwork every, every Tuesday and Saturday. So stick around. I will figure this out at some point. All right, time to go. Thank you for watching. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks and have a good one.